there all day talking to some frustrated people. Andy, what can you tell us tonight? Well, you know, there's a reason tonight. Monroe County has asked residents to stay off the roads until tomorrow. I mean, you can't even see any pavement. It is nasty out here. People are slipping and sliding. But if you ask people who are home, they say, you know, just asking people to stay home isn't exactly the safest option, especially if they're stuck at home. We live in an area where the wind is just blowing the snow, creating all these uh, hazardous drifts that no one can get through. Here in this Raisinville Township subdivision just outside Monroe, about 40 families aren't able to get in and out of their neighborhood. The drifting snow and icy conditions have completely blocked off the entryway. I can't get out. People can't get in. I have a job. I work for the railroad. I get a two-hour call. If they call me and I can't get to work, chances of me leaving my, losing my job are, are high. Work sent me home, and I buried my car midway through here, and my car's parked at the clubhouse. And I have wonderful neighbors that came out and got me out, some of which you've seen today. But I did see an ambulance coming here last night. I don't know if it made it to its final destination. Well, we got a call last night that an ambulance is coming through here and, and got stuck, and our neighbors called us up. and. Asked, if, asked me if I could help, and I had the four-wheel drive. I've been getting in and out of here, and I said, absolutely. Guys like Dan Gross are why yesterday's crisis was averted, but residents are worried if they're packed in any longer, things could get worse. The Monroe County Road Commissioner told me at best Thursday, and today is Tuesday. This is two days already, so that means i got to wait another two days to get out. Just get it fixed, you know. Just get out here and get something done about it. It's, it's ridiculous, you know. Pretty interesting situation with the ambulance. We called the Monroe County Road Commission about that. They say their policy is when you call 911, the ambulance will hook up with someone from the Road Commission just in case someone gets stuck on the road. Now, yesterday, they say they did not receive that call, so they're still looking into exactly what happened. As far as the subdivisions go, the priority is the last priority for these road crews. So, unfortunately, folks that are stuck at home, they're going to have to wait it out. But obviously, people are very concerned that if they are stuck at at home, they aren't going to be able to deal with those emergency situations. So a, a nasty situation, whether you're indoors or outdoors here in Monroe County. Reporting live in Monroe, Andy Choi, 7 Action News. Remember, Monroe got 16 inches of snow, plus whatever was on the ground from New Year's Eve. I mean, they're the hardest hit area. They really are, and the county asking people to stay at home today unless it's an emergency situation so they can clear those Thanks, roads. Andy. Andy, thank you so much. I want you to take a close look now at flights around the nation disrupted by the deep freeze. The red dots here here are areas with excessive delays. If you are heading to the airport to fly out or to pick someone up, make sure to check with the airline to see if that flight is on time.